Hey, bro, sis, this is Bro Tech. First, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to those that have subscribed to my channel in the past couple of months. I know I haven't posted in a while, uh, but now I'm back with a new video, and this one's going to be a little different than the ones I normally make. I just thought it'd be fun to do one about my car, the 2018 Mercedes CLA 250 for Matic. It is a cool car, but uh, there are just some things I don't like about it. And uh, that's what this video is about. So let's begin. So what you've been seeing in the background is the remote start sequence running through the Mercedes Me app. Um, it always gets stuck on this running security check thing. Uh, I'm in a garage right now, but I've tried this out in the open, standing right next to the car, but that doesn't work. Uh, I have taken it to the dealership twice for this remote start issue, and uh, for some reason it always works there. But not when I get home. They did reset my app and told me to always lock the car first via the app before trying to remote start it, but that hasn't worked either. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it can't be my network coverage because I have Verizon's above unlimited, which is really fast. Uh, it's probably the app because uh, if you look at the app, it has a 1.9 star rating and judging by the mostly bad reviews, I'm not the only one with this issue. Come on, Mercedes. All right, for this one, I think it's better that you just listen. The creaking is much more noticeable when it's cold outside. Maybe it's my loud music that's like making all the components loose, I don't know. I know um, the car is not moving right now, but um, the creaking definitely happens while I am driving. It's not as bad, but it still creaks like the Santa Maria. Next up is the door locking pin and it couldn't be in a worse spot. Uh, this was actually the very first thing that I noticed that I, I didn't like. Uh, maybe ergonomically it's not designed for my short arms, but if you are one of those people that like to drive with their arm out the window, I highly suggest that you try it during a test drive um, to see if you have the same problem. At this point, I've become numb to it, but it's probably because it's pinching a nerve. All the issues I have with the CLE 250, tires. Tires have cost me the most headaches, time, and money. 
and although the Mercedes roadside assistance is probably the best roadside assistance you can get it is still an annoying inconvenience that I am forced to address along with all the other things going on in my life and uh, to give you a sense of scale these 57 millimeters have cost me close to four thousand dollars what the while we're on this tire thing keep in mind there is no spare tire and that's because this car has a run flat tire system which if you don't already know means that um, there's a hard piece of rubber around the wheel that will allow you to keep going even after you've gotten a flat this doesn't mean the tire won't fall apart uh, this is after 25 30 highway miles all right on to the next I don't know about you, but I like to live life on the edge. But I can't live life on the edge when all I keep hearing is... I'm just kidding. Uh, please wear your seatbelt. Just know that the seatbelt chime is never ending. It never stops. It, it goes on like every five minutes. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. 